excellent penmanship. Yeah. He's playing Esper. I watched him play earlier. Okay. Nothing too fancy in this list. He has a main deck blind obedience, but that's not totally out of the realm of reason. As you see him, he's going to play a Halifon here, come across with his Augur Bolas and pass the turn back. As we see, Travis is up a game on your right, and he is on a mulligan to six as he's casting right now a Lingering Souls versus Bear Tokens. He's playing Esper as well, but his takes a little bit more aggressive. He's got four Lingering Souls, and we've seen this version as well, with has a little bit more Planeswalker heavy. He has two Jace Architect of Thought, two Liliana Vale, and two Soren Lord of Innistrad. So, Thias in for one with his Augur. How do you feel about Lingering Souls in an Esper Mirror? I know this is, there are varying opinions on this. You know, this is my, this is my wheelhouse. This is my bread and butter. I can tell you everything there is to know about an Esper Mirror. Okay. I have no idea how good it is. <laughs> oh, fair enough. It seems like it would be, there's, so there's a version of Esper out there right now that has four Lingering Souls, four Sorn, Lord of Innistrad. Uh, Simon Gertzen was a player who played that to a top eight of a PTQ. Also, say, also saw it make top eight of a standard open in Orlando. Um, I know the player who played that was very fond of it, and Simon liked it as well uh, for his PTQ. So we have seen this version have a little bit of success. Um, how good is the Nesper Mirror? I feel like, you know, the Esper deck is... W once Matthias knows that there is Lingering Souls, he can sideboard accordingly. Yep. Um, you know, it makes you wonder if he saw them in game one or not, but I think it's something that can catch people off guard momentarily, as we are going to see a Soren Lord of Innistrad here. We'll bring up that Planeswalker on the screen. I don't think it's backbreaking or anything. I think it's more of an annoyance. Sure. Uh, and then you have to plan accordingly and figure out how to beat it. There's there are definitely receiver. some draws that I've seen where someone has Lingering Souls with a bunch of counters. Yeah. And the Esper deck is just out, the, the opposing Esper deck is just out of the game. Yeah, maybe they like maybe they cyborg out their Supreme Verge or something like that. You just really caught them off guard. That can definitely happen. And what's soaring to be able to back it up and be able to create quite a clock due to its emblems, that, that's not out of the realm of possibility. So let's see what Matthias is going to come up with this turn. As we do know he has an Orzhov Charm in his hand that he found off of that Restoration Angel blinking the Augur of Bolas. He's got plenty of lands. We see a Planner Cleansing in his hand as well. Let's see if he has Curse of Death holding where in his sideboard he does not. He does have those two Planner Cleansings where Travis does have one Curse of Death hold in his sideboard. So we're going to be in for a little bit of a grind. Oh, yeah. It's not going to be a Settle in. One. Settle in. And Matthias, I think, is thinking about if he just wants to snap off 5-mana Jace right now. Shields are down. Yeah, he, I mean, he can land it. But it puts a lot of pressure on his Restoration Angel to be able to hold off those Lingering Soul tokens. So. Yeah. Also, when, you, when you're staring at a Planner Cleansing in your hand as well, you're going to go through the work to cast that and then reset. Yep. After, you know, you, you reset the board. Then he's going to take two from the Water Grace, so it looks like he might pull the trigger here. Uh, I think Jace plus one is a totally reasonable line here. And there is your Jace Memory Adept. Let's see if it is going to be a plus one, or is it time... For a little mill ten. Well, I don't think he can go mill ten because Travis can just go Soren plus one my team attack, even if he doesn't have a removal spell for the restoration angel to take it out. Alright, so he's gonna plus one it. So here's your draw. Supreme Verdict to draw here. And we're gonna see him take a look at that bad boy. We'll bring it up on the screen for you guys. I think everyone's getting pretty familiar with this card by yep. now. Starting to dominate the control mirror is also a fantastic way to defeat a junk reanimator opponent once you do have control of the game, as attacking their life total is not realistic due to all those Thrag Tusk and Restoration Angels and Unburial Rites. So we actually see players milling them out instead, which is a little bit dangerous against the old graveyard deck, but you got to win somehow, yep. and that's how people have been doing it. So here's a Witchbane Orb. The card that we're seeing just a lot yeah, of this a lot of, a lot of Witchbane Orbs in play so far. <laughs> And so that's going to shut Jace off, or at least slow it down a little bit. Going to make that planner cleansing a lot better, as you do see Detention Sphere in Matthias' hand as well. So he's doing all right around that, uh, around that Witchbane Orb right now. But, the, you know, the, Pat, the, the tough thing here is he needs to figure out... You know, he's trying to sequence the game, I feel, in such a way that he can get the most for his money with that planner cleansing. Yes. Now, he wants to be able to do that without ruining himself and, and doing bad things to himself, killing his own Jace, killing his own Detention Sphere, and whatever he targets. As you see, Duress is the draw off of Jace, and Supreme Verge is the card that is milled. Can't Duress him, though. Nope. So, that's not... No, sir. Uh, no. That whoa, should not whoa, happen. Whoa. Back up. We, have, we should try to... We're going to have to back this game up a little bit here as the spotter's going to uh, 
have to back it up because duress cannot be cast. It does say target opponent. There's a Witchbane Orb in play. Yep. So have we gotten our spotter yet? We're going to have to back this game up for you guys at home. And it looks like, yep, we just did finally get a hold of him, so. Okay, so we'll see how this gets adjudicated momentarily. As duress cannot be cast, you see Matthias does have a detention spear in his hand, but that duress was illegally cast. So we'll see, as you said, how this does get ruled and how they're going to back this up. Yeah, I guess they just backed the whole thing up. Yeah. You know, with Travis tapped out, it's probably going to be okay. But yeah, they're going to have to rewind probably the entire turn. Yeah. Because he couldn't pre, pre Jace activation. He couldn't even put that duress on the stack. Yes. Because it does say target opponent. He can't even target himself with that. So here's your ascension sphere. That's going to take out the Witch Main Orb. And now we're going to see, we're probably going to see that duress now. So there's your duress. So it looks like we're all good to go here. So yeah, I think at this point, Matthias is actually pretty happy to just uh, have Restoration Angel back on defense, work Jace for extra cards, and then Planner Cleansing once the board gets too bad. Yeah. He, he doesn't he doesn't have to go to try to mill him out just yet. Yeah, the tough the tough part there is is you know he doesn't have to go to mill him out just yet, but if he ever does cast that Planner Cleansing, he's gonna allow uh, Travis to get back his uh, Witch Bane Orb, which I think is the biggest problem here among all the cards. Yep. So he really has to be careful on how he wants to cast his planner cleansing, when he wants to do it, and what he wants to accomplish with it. That's the really tough part. You see Soren's going to tick up again, put another vampire into play. You see a hand of negate Supreme Verdict and Brave a victim, victim of, of night. night. And Travis's hand. Taking the long road here, just making a token and passing. And we'll try to get a white die onto that Soren so we can figure out how many counters are on there. It looks like there are six, so it is threatening its ultimate right now as it does have three vampires, starts on three. So almost positive it is up to six right now, but we do just want to get confirmation here, get a better die on there for you guys at home as well. You can get a vampire too instead of that green sleeve. So we'll clear up our board state a little bit. So, so it is six. six. Threatening that ultimate there as Matthias is going to take his turn. Travis, not a lot going on over there. Matthias needs to figure out how he wants to go about using this chase. Contemplating what, how we want to activate our chase here. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to draw. All right, so we're gonna see a mill. He's gonna he's gonna mill forbidden off me. He draws an Azorius charm. So actually, a pretty good mill there for Travis, even though he is stuck on five lands. And so you see a couple charms over there in Hunt's hand. You see Jace up to seven counters. You see that planet cleansing as well here. Sphinx's revelation has supreme verdict. But he knows about the negate too, so he can't just kind of just fire off the planner. Yeah. Here. He's a he's out in front enough on cards at this point where I think he'd be pretty happy just to be able to resolve the planner cleansing. But yeah. But also puts, it also puts Travis in this interesting stranglehold too, where you know he has to keep representing the game. He can't pull the trigger on anything because he knows that something bad will probably happen if he does. He doesn't know what that bad thing is because he hasn't duress Matthias, but he has to know that something bad is probably coming. We're gonna see a flashback lingering souls here from Travis. So you're going to see another vampire coming to play too. Here, so Soren's going to move up to seven. And he does just pass the turn back. So here's an Orzhov charm. Okay. So he's going to, it looks like he's going to bounce his own Restoration Angel here, Patrick. Okay. Yep. Getting a little creative. 
pretty fancy. Still contemplating any end of turn moves. see a cycle of Azorius charm now too. So Matthias is going to draw a card. He's going to untap his lance. He drew a duress for the turn here as well. Okay. So duress can actually clear clear the path here as he just as he draws a think twice. Yeah, so he can just duress the negate now planar cleansing. You see Travis is you can tell. You can tell he really. He, he doesn't want to negate this, but feels like he needs yep. to. This is the power of duress, which we don't see as often anymore. But you absolutely see exactly how powerful it is here. I had to feel like Matthias is a little bit better set up for the way this mirror match is sort of playing. Yep. Just because, well, Travis is sort of on this like lingering soul Soren plan. He still has Supreme Verdict in his in his deck, whereas Matthias's deck is just pure control. Yep. So now Matthias is going to cast what feels to be a Supreme Verdict here to clear everything up. Yep, so Supreme Verdict is going to clear all of this stuff up. He knows that Travis is left here with... Excuse me, he does have a sword on seven counters, which isn't bad. The sword takes a long time to win the game. It dissipates the draw step for Travis. But Matthias' Planeswalker is going to bite the dust here because of Soren's ability. Travis will get that Jace, but we know Matthias has a backup Jace in his hand yep. now. The tough part here is you're going to see a mill here for 10. Snapcaster, negate, negate, rest in peace, rest in peace, Augur of Bolas, Augur of Bolas, two Glacial Fortress, and a Isolated Chapel. You can't go faster than Matthias. You can try, but I saw a 10. The problem here for, the problem here for Matthias is that Travis drew a Dissipate. Yep. So you're going to see a Think Twice on Travis's instep from Matthias. He'll draw a card. See another card drawn here, which is this to be on the Matthias yep. Round Yard. Yep. So you see, Matthias is going to play a land here. He's going to play that Round Yard. You see a Planner Cleansing in his hand still. Two copies of Space Revelation. That Jace. He's probably going to lead out with the Jace this turn. It's going to be to dissipate. Yep. So there's your Jace to try to Legend Rule. There's my Dissipate, and yep, you can see the frustration there for Matthias as a top deck Dissipate turns everything around. Yep. Everything that Matthias was trying to set up is just now destroyed. Yep. Matthias is actually still short on triple white too, so that cleansing is... Yep, you can't even cast it right now. So here go ten more cards. I think twice. Two copies of Think so Twice. Fast. Three. Three Think Twice among them. He's a math teacher. He's quick. Good with numbers. So fast. I readily admit I cannot keep up with that one. That one was too fast. And I think we're going to see a Souls and Flashback Souls here. Yep. If Matthias spends his turn... Uh, still looking for... Oh, I, I, did, did we just peel find it? the third white source? You saw him flashback, I think, twice on Travis's end step. The question is, did he find that other white source for that Planner Cleansing? Which, you know, it's, it, it's interesting because he, he wants to cast the Planner Cleansing because he's in trouble right now, but he doesn't want to cast it as you see a Gala Shrine in his hand because I don't think he wants to give back that Witchman Orb. Sure. He has no interest in doing that. He's got a flashback, I think, twice. That's it. Yeah, you'll see the game. The yeah. Third white. Wow. So Travis is going to win this match two to zero. We sort of took it for granted. We sort of took it for granted there that Matthias was just going to be able to like eventually set up planner cleansing, but yeah, literally could not find a third white source. Yeah, pretty he, crazy. Yeah, he drew he drew a Godless Shrine in the last turn, so he actually did find the third white source. I think the problem there is that he can't beat the Witchman or what's in play. I'll take a look at his deck list right now. If you're looking for a card like Detention Sphere or anything to be able to get the thing off the board, he has one in his main deck which may have been gone from the milling. Well, the sphere was already on the orb. Yeah, it's on the orb. Yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. So if he kills, if he kills it, does he have outs to the orb being in play? Because his plan with he the Esper deck is to mill him. I mean, he can just beat down with Restoration Angel, I guess. So no, 
is the answer. Yeah, I guess so no, okay. Yeah, it's a, effectively no. Yeah. 